Sometimes I'm amazed at the sheer audacity of some people. There is a person that's been accusing me of things, but it turns out that he is the one doing those things. It's a classic case of what Freud called projection. Somehow it makes himself feel better by projecting his own, foul, his own faults on, on somebody else. Somebody told me he made some... Well, I can't go into detail. That's why I'm, I'm posting this on the Royal Over the Fez, because of his flagging. Uh, my main channel, Citizen Kong, is in jeopardy. But it was well worth it. In fact, in fact, it was definitely well worth it. And later, he pulled that video in which he, uh, well, basically, it was just a whole pack of lies. <laughs> and later, he realized, basically, he must have been embarrassed. At some point, he, he sobered up and said, oh my gosh, what did I do? Because it, it just illustrates it illustrates so clearly, so clearly the issues this person has. All right, that being said, yeah, I'm not gonna quit. <laughs> I'm not gonna quit till everybody realizes what a douche this person is. And you'll probably try to flag this for hate speech. Uh, I'm leaving out specifics, so maybe he won't be successful on, on this video. But believe me, he will try and try and try and enlist and enlist some of his other loser misfits to uh, come to his aid, I'm sure. All right, time to don the fez. Greetings, fellow citizens. This is Citizen Kong, and welcome to another Fez Night. Tonight's... Oh, I didn't even have a title. <laughs> oh, what should I call it? How about Winter Fresh for Fez? <laughs> I can't think of anything. All right. Greetings, fellow citizens. This is Citizen Kong, and welcome to another Fez Night. Tonight's Fez Night shall be called... Winter Fresh Fez, which happened to be a, a, a flavor of gum I just recently bought. So, uh, yeah, I, I know I owe some of you a Fez Night. I haven't posted one in a while. Some of you actually do like Fez Night, uh, which always amazes me. And uh, I guess I should talk about, well, first of all, let me mention the holidays, okay? The war on Christmas. How dare you call it the holidays? Well, sometimes, why we can say happy holidays because Christmas and New Year's come so close together. Why not, you know? And cover all of them, you know? Hanukkah. Kwanzaa, I have a problem with because that's a made-up holiday, but, but uh, no offense to my African-American friends. If you want to celebrate Kwanzaa, great. That's, that's, that's your right. And in fact, every holiday was, was created at some point, right? It didn't exist before, and then somebody thought of it, especially Valentine's Day. That was a real, a real, uh, there's a real conspiracy behind that. Anyway, happy, happy Christmas, happy holidays. Uh, those of you that have watched Fez Night uh, long term know that I don't particularly like the holidays. I really don't. And I'm kind of relieved that, the, that Christmas is, is around the corner and it's almost all over. But I would never, well, I won't say never, but I will make an effort not to interfere with anybody else's joy over Christmas. Yeah. <laughs> I'll try not to get in the way. You guys have fun. Oh. Yeah, so we had another recent mass shooting, and uh, and this this time it struck a chord, finally, with a lot of Americans, that there were a lot of children involved. And uh, I wouldn't make a special video about this just to exploit 
it for views or anything like that. But, uh, you know, as, as you know, politically, I'm a liberal. I tend to vote Democrat, but I, I tend to vote with the Democratic Party. Uh, but I'm registered as a Green. And, uh, but anyway, the whole gun thing. I'm kind of happy to see that there's more, the, the, the dialogue is, is back about speaking about gun control. Personally, I'm a gun owner, and the culture of guns is so entrenched in America, in the United States, that I wouldn't see it going away until the entire United States collapses. Oh, which, by the way, there was some CIA report, you know, on the state of the world. I believe it was the CIA. I was listening to it on public radio. And uh, they, they definitely predict the demise of the Western world. But the good news overall is that everybody over the planet is going to get closer to a better life, you know. Uh, so basically the whole economic peaks and valleys of the entire world, you know, going from extremely poor to extremely rich uh, is sort of going to level out, which, which goes into the whole decline of the West. <laughs> But we'll still have our identity. Just like England uh, had to give up its empire, you know, when uh, we give up our empire, we'll still be, it'll still be America. And other people will still admire our culture. That's the best thing we brought to this world, I think, is our, is, is our I love American culture. I do. Um, but the gun thing, okay? Why? I mean, I think these people are nuts. Why would they fight for the right to own assault weapons and uh, Teflon bullets, etc.? It's like, okay, some of them, do you believe that there's really going to be a zombie apocalypse? Well, if I knew there was going to be one, okay, I'd say arm everybody, men, women, and children to the teeth because the zombies are coming. Uh, the more extreme right... Right wing, I mean, we haven't had an extreme left in this country for quite a while, not that I'm aware of. I mean, there was the weathermen in the 60s. Um, basically, they were domestic terrorists. But now we have right wing domestic terrorism. And um, the, there's these uh, neo, what do I call them, neo? Some of them are almost neo-Nazi. But these civilian military camps where they practice uh, using firearms, etc. So there's a group there that, that believes that our country will be invaded by a foreign force and they believe that a domestic, a uh, sort of uh, resistance force can, can be uh, a reasoning for having automatic weapons. I think they're loonies. <laughs> And because they're loonies, do we really want them having weapons? Yeah, I, the whole thing's ridiculous. Some people say, oh, if we took away guns. Well, one of the arguments is if we, if we made, and this isn't going to happen, that all guns will be illegal. I, I could consider, I had to register my weapon. Uh, and um, so, actually, to be honest, my twenty two rifle is not registered. Maybe I should go down and register it. Um, oh, wait, but there might be a zombie apocalypse. But what good is a 22, a bolt action 22 going to do me, huh? Hey, a headshot will still take him down, right? So, um, yeah, this isn't really a laughing matter. I'm sorry. But, but the ridiculousness of it, you have to say it's laughable. Um, the argument that, um, that if we make guns illegal, which isn't really going to happen, only criminals will have guns, um, is wrong. Because if you think about it, the police and military will have guns. And what are these? Are these people actually that afraid of our own police and military? You know, we've gone beyond the black powder and musket thing. A man would have a fighting chance of, of uh, if the military came by and tried to indoctrinate him or something against his will. Uh, a musket or something would give them a, a fighting chance. But let's be realistic. If the military decided to round us up, they could. 
and even if you had an automatic weapon, even if everybody had automatic weapon, weapons. The military still has tanks and planes and, you know, drones. You could bomb the shit out of us. Besides, I really don't, I really don't see that happening. <sighs> Call me a fool. Call me a fool to trust that at least the, uh, the sane among the sanity will still rule. Guess enough on that. The National Rifle Association was, I said enough on that, but still I'm going to add this. The National Rifle Association was silent for a little while. And then basically they came out saying that, that they believe everybody should be armed and uh, teachers should be armed and that would, that would put, put the, all that off. Oh, real quick, the, uh, which I think, I don't know, arming the entire populace? 